You can feel a lot of heat coming through there. Here, stick your hand over there with me. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Um, today I thought I'd take a few moments and talk about a product that we have that we use a lot. It's called the Omnia oven. This is a, a, a cooktop oven. It works pretty well. Uh, we're pretty happy with it. It's from a company, Omnia, omniasweden.com. And it makes it possible to cook things on your stovetop uh, like they were in an oven. So, it's a lightweight, it's got a lid, these holes in it. Uh, we bought the silicon insert, that way we don't have to worry about things sticking to it. It's a bunt pan. And it's got this bottom piece that creates an air gap between the flame and the bunt pan and then the hot air comes up through that hole and up in to this it's this roof of it and heats up the interior it also comes with you see it's well used this grill uh, I've used this when we make chicken nuggets, <clears throat> when we uh, make french fries to create another gap there. I use that. It came with all of these wax liners, and I've never actually used those because we've never cooked anything that we needed to use those for. But, so I ended up throwing them all away but that one. We make some cinnamon rolls. <coughs> I find that you can't crank it up super hot. Uh, it, it gets really hot inside, but but you have to be patient with it because it's a cooktop grill. It heats up and it's really easy to burn the bottom of your whatever you're cooking. So you have to give it time. You, you can't rush it. We've made cookies. We make chicken nuggets. We make french fries. And we heat up other things in it just to heat them up that you don't want to put on a stove. So I'm going to put these in, just line them up. Now with the Omnia oven. Super low, and then I take and I put it on that so I can center my hole on my burner. Now these burners are nice and big, and you can feel a lot of heat coming through there. Here, stick your hand over there with me. Oh, that's hot. hot. <laughs> <laughs> now, I've stuck <clears throat> our uh, probe in here <clears throat> that measures temperatures for like meat. And um, it, it shows that it'll be pretty hot, but that's not a real good way to measure the temperature. But usually I can tell by how hot the lid is, whether or not I'm cooking or cooking too fast and then like I say I just I have to be real patient with it. I'm better to turn it down super low and let it heat up very slowly, check the temperature, keep checking it, and then, then I don't end up burning the bottom of stuff. If I turn this up too high to get the heat going really fast, it just burns the bottom and the tops are raw. So I'm gonna I may even turn it down a little bit more.
Good. See, I can already... Yeah, that's a good thing. I turned it down. I think it was getting too hot already on the bottom. So, we'll let it do its thing and see how it goes from there. See the steam coming out of that? That's those, that vent hole right there on the side. So let's take a quick peek. Oh, yep, those are looking good. Let's check these. Ooh. They're done. They're done. Now, I would argue, based on my probe and the temperatures, that we probably baked those at... I'd argue that we probably baked the cinnamon rolls at 250 or so, maybe not 300. And the reason why is because they uh, they baked a lot slower, took a lot longer than it would in our oven. Now, maybe the folks that make this stove would argue that we can get the temperatures up to 350 and, and hold them well. I've, I've not been as successful at doing that where I get the temperatures um, um, to, to what I would argue is probably 350 so that they bake in the same amount of time that they would in a regular oven. Um, and, and, but that's okay because everything gets baked and it gets hot. I just have to be a little bit more patient. Uh, brownies that that in your oven would take 25 minutes. In the Omni oven, I, I plan 35 to 40 minutes. Um, these cinnamon rolls, I think, typically take 14 uh, or so. I should have looked at the package in, in your oven. Kind of like biscuits take 12 to 14 in the oven, uh, or as little as eight. I've had biscuits that cook in eight. Um, uh, in the Omni oven, I, I usually plan 20. Uh, in the uh, cookies that normally take 12 minutes uh, norm in the Omni oven uh, you know I can I can run those up for 16 17 minutes and so everything takes a little bit longer uh, to bake but it turns out golden brown just as hot just as good uh, I can things like fries and things like the uh, chicken strips uh, that, that sit on that rack I can crank the temperature up a little hotter and bake those faster um, because I can get them hotter because they're not coming in contact as readily with the bottom of the pan. So they're not, they've got a bigger air gap between the flame and, and the metal that's getting heated by the flame and the actual food that's going on them. So, if I can bake it in my oven at home, I can bake it in this Omnia oven. So, I've been very happy with it. Uh, it has opened up some, some items that, that we bake and cook on campouts now uh, that, that we wouldn't cook otherwise. Uh, and, and I can do it without having to add one of the big outdoor ovens. I don't have to carry anything more because this thing's pretty small. It's, it's the same size as a pot or a bunt pan. So that's our Omnia oven. Omnia Sweden is the company. It took me, I saw it uh, once somewhere and it took me a while to find it. Uh, but uh, we've been very happy with it. So hopefully this video is helpful to you. Hit that like and subscribe button. And thanks for watching.